Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of uh, GeoGuessr. We're doing Coaster World today, it's a map by map for one of our worst. And hopefully, this means something to somebody. Uh, we do have an English version of it for some reason. I feel like with this C, we might be near Croatia. We do have blue on the license plates. It's not on both sides, so it gets rid of Albania. We don't have any rifts, so it gets rid of Montenegro. But that's about it. We got nothing really else to uh, to help us out here. We definitely know we're in Europe. We definitely know there's English. We definitely know there's another language. Now, does that help me out? Not so much. Does that help you guys out? Probably. Does feel... I don't know. This is like commercial fishing. Or maybe these are, these are fish farms. Uh, but basically this net goes in, brings it up, and you got fish. The end. Pretty easy. Uh, no red on the license plates. That one had yellow, which is a little concerning to me. Uh, shit. We need to find something else. I was hoping there was going to be a flag here. It felt like a big enough important building. And that bird's kind of in the wrong place. Shit. Uh, Panorama Long Beach. So that's the name of whatever that hotel is. Pizzeria Arty. Everything's like in English. I don't think it's Malta. Although I can't tell if we're driving on the left or the right hand side. Market Airy. It's not Poland. Shit. It kind of reminds me of, like, Greece. I think that says something. M MX? MK? <laughs> it literally says Montenegro.com. And it literally says Villania. So, I wonder. Um, my concern is, here's Montenegro, right? The water was to our east. How the fuck could it be to our east? And where the fuck is Villania? We're fucked. Bar. Boha. Ujehi. Oh god. Load. It's gotta load for us. Uh, I guess this is how water could be to the east. If it's a bay. If it's a bay, it makes sense. Could be over here. Which we didn't really pay attention, did we? It definitely opens to the south. Over here, perhaps? Oh, baby. Uh, it ends up being way further to the south. Uh, not where Quantum or myself ends up guessing. I don't see the whatever the town name was listed. So who knows what that actually said, but at least we both get Montenegro. Uh, relatively similar points, only about 20 points separate us. Hopefully we can make it up. Gen 2 coverage, yellow single line, white's on the sides. Can't tell if we're on the left or the right, although the sun is to the south. Should put us in the northern hemisphere. Could this be a weird Mexico? It's a U.S. kind of style sign. I do need to find Spanish just in case. We do have bollards, but come on. Who do you think I am? It's not one of those days. We have... Yada, Vado, Vadu. 300 meters. It's a bridge. Over nothing. I guess they didn't want to go down any further. Who knows? Uh, it definitely feels like uh, Mexico, for sure. I could see this maybe being Baja. Although, western coast doesn't have to be Bob. It could be over here. And what we could be seeing is the Gulf of California. For some reason, though, trust me on this one. We're probably wrong, but if we get a wild guess in, a wild crazy guess, that could be uh, the make or break moment. It does seem like it's a relatively straight, long road leading to the middle of nowhere. We might be going the wrong way, which would be a problem. Puente Arroyo Hondu. 
The single yellow is also throwing me because I don't think I expect single yellow in Mexico. I can't read what that sign says, although it looks like it says California. Well, that sucks. I don't think we're going to find anything that we want. Uh, we have seen 36 on the road. And I don't know if that's telling us we're on Route 36. But I don't think that exists over here. Or if it's just marking kilometers, you know? No town names, no sign names. White license plates, so fuck Colombia. We know the sun's to the south. We don't have roof rack. It's got to be Mexico. This is about MX. Secretary of Communication uh, well, and Transport. Limpina de Catera. Wherever the fuck that is. Shit. And we got to be on the coast, the west coast. And this is 15D. Definitely not 36. 134, 131. Maybe it could be like a 136. I don't know where Limpia la Carretera is. I don't even know what that means. And I think we're taking too big of a risk by going with Baja. Unless it's this right here. Because this is a long straight in the middle of fucking nowhere road. Hoping for some fucking luck. And it ends up being literally where we had our fucking guess. Literally where we had our fucking guess. Guys, trust your fucking instincts. Fuck, man. Ah, uh, Norway. Pretty sure. Where's the water? To our west. Alright, Deborah. <laughs> where the fuck are we? I know you're going to see it immediately and be like, I know this. You're over here. And you're going to be right. So, I wish we had telepathic communications. So then I could have it right. But somewhere... I don't know. Throldheim? Seems like a good place to guess. We're going to do our best to try and find any source of uh, information. I doubt we will, but we're going to try. Hopefully, I don't know, a town name comes up. That we recognize, like, there's Moss. And we had a road number, 119. So Moss is 12 kilometers away on 119. 37, 32, 45, 44, 57, 61, 65, 72. But no 119s yet, surprisingly. Or unsurprising. There's some eights. Sevens. Where you gotta be further south. 63. 665. Where the fuck is Moss? 400s. 50s. Really? Threes. Fours. Threes. Threes. 167. Not quite 119, but not quite anywhere else. 170, still not 119, 25, 21, 24, 118, 13, 10, 103, 106. So general area is over here. Here's 120. How have we not seen the one fucking number we want? Uh, Moss, we could probably look for as well. Theoretically, according to the numbers, should be over here. We found it. Uh, so we're on 119. Here's 118. Here's just regular 19. 118, 116, 118. Is E6 also 119? Nope. Well, we're 12 kilometers away from Moss. Somewhere. Somewhere down here. It looks like it's north of us. I still haven't seen a 119 anywhere. I'm not surprised, but on the coast, because it's coastal world. I don't know. Down here seems pretty decent. Feels like, nah, a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Or south. A lot further south 
We really suck at telling distances. <laughs> really suck. Over by La Colin. But uh, five miles, nine kilometers, that's not a bad guess. At all. At all. Right hand side, white dividers, white middle, Portugal plate. I see the yellow. Does this one have it? Doesn't really look like it. Ah, uh, there it is. There's the yellow. So western coast of Portugal. The only coast of Portugal. Actually, I think there's water to the south. Should be. There it is. All right, we're fine. Everything's fine. I, the only concern I have is what if this is one of their fucking bullshit islands out in the Azores. It's the only concern I have. Uh, I don't know if we're going to find anything that's going to tell us that it's the Azores. So that's a sign that says, welcome to the Azores. So I think we have to rely on mainland Portugal here. We're going to do our best, though, to try and find road numbers, although it doesn't really look like they're marked. Hopefully we're able to find a town name, although... Look at the luck we've had today besides that Norway location. Something about this just screams like island to me, man. Compania das Obras. Uh, don't think that's important. The Quinta de la Gue, Not important. I think it's just the, the license plates that make us want to go Portugal. Anything on the truck? Christ Mafe the second. Commercial de Fermantanes. What the fuck that means? I'm really surprised. Sally's de Monte Baum. The festival does Katanas. So maybe Katanas is a town name. Maybe doesn't mean anything. We only have a minute, so. Uh, that was actually like, the first sign we saw. It says Calada, which I think means beach. I'm not actually confident in that, though. So definitely don't listen to what I say. We have Valono, Galiza, Quiantos, Sao Domingos, and Incalcanso. Whatever the fuck any of that means. Uh, for me, that honestly feels like these. The Azores. I don't see any of those names here. It doesn't mean they don't exist. Uh, I don't actually remember the other island, but I still don't see any of those listed. So, hopefully, hopefully that means we are in fact mainland. Quialalos, which is almost Quiantos. Almost, not quite, but not too far off. Yeah, uh, we're hoping for some fucking luck. Hopefully we have it. And it ends up being way further south. Over by Santos Isidiro. Uh, here's the only town name we saw on here. And we probably missed it because we weren't paying attention to anything that wasn't on the coast. But we did get an extra 400 points, so we have a chance. As we end up in Japan. So Japan feels like Hokkaido, although it probably isn't. We at least know we're kind of over here. I know I'm not guessing Hokkaido. We're going to try and find a sign. Just right here. Just have the information we want. Cape Shiria and Karachime. It does have some pretty important stuff. But if you don't recognize those names right away, it's not going to be too helpful. So let's try and find... I don't know. Anything else? Hexagonal 6, that's regional. So we're on Hexagonal 6. We gotta go the other way. Near whatever that cape was. Here's a blue sign. This might be what we kind of want to see. No, it's the same thing. Although it does say Shiriyazaki. Wherever the fuck that is. Uh, water is to our west and our north. Is that too helpful? Not really. Uh, I would rather find a guitar pick and not a hexagonal. Mainly because, like I mentioned, hexagonal is regional. You could find 15 hexagonal sixes and not have the right one. So once we find... I don't even know the towns. 
Hopefully there's something else included on them. Shit. I want to say it's Hokkaido. Mainly because I know how to say Hokkaido. Does this give us anything? Sharia. It just says Sharia again. Uh, let's, let's just look. You never know. Sharia. Sharia, Sharia, Sharia. Shari? Not quite Sharia. Shirinaka? Shirindaka? So, maybe not Hokkaido. Sakata? We're screwed. We really are. Because now we're going away from where I think it is. Uh, which is on or off a good thing or a bad thing. But uh, I don't see it anywhere. I don't. So, we're, we're looking for some luck. We have some mountains in the distance. Not too helpful. We're looking for kind of anything. At this point, a phone number would probably be incredibly helpful. Like, really fucking helpful. We only have 10 seconds. So, hopefully... Hopefully we have a decent guess where we have it. It's kind of in the middle. It's probably one of these bullshit islands. And it ends up being right on the north. How was that town not listed anywhere? Here's Sharia. So small, we would have never seen it. We needed something else. Uh, Hayes Hexagonal 6. If we would have gone south, we might have been able to find that post office. But I don't know if it would have helped us. We needed to see Mutsu somewhere. If we would have seen Mutsu somewhere, we would have been able to find it. But we were unable to. So that's kind of shitty. Uh, so lesson learned. Don't move your guess. Because our original guess was, I believe, over here in Amori. Original guess, keep it there. Just keep it there. Quantum's in first place at 23,772. KXRT in second at 23,414. Cedric in third at 22,435. Bo in fourth, 22,365. We're in fifth. We don't matter. Scribbles in sixth at 20,930. Martin in seventh at 20,873. Noan Gega in eighth at 19,197. Linus in ninth at 18,837. And Bonzoi Cherry in tenth at 4,181. Uh, but overall, not bad. Not bad at all. I think, obviously, we could have done a little bit better. We could have not second-guessed ourselves and probably gotten away with, like, maybe stealing a third-place win, maybe even a second place. I don't think we were going to come in first, mainly because we had too many fuck-ups. Uh, but overall, I think it was decent. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great either. Uh, but that is going to be what we called for the day, so thank you all so much for being here. Can't wait to be back tomorrow on Twitch. Uh, hopefully we are able to do something worthy of all of the fucking Twitch views from the main page of GeoGuessr. Uh, but until tomorrow, guys, enjoy the rest of your day, and bye-bye.